In essence, it's three processes that are intertwined with each other. Starting with the certification process of making sure that your authorities that are going to approve your operational systems is with you throughout this journey. And uh, that's really where we start with the sort of authorization process or certification process, if you wish. And uh, making sure that you build a, a good relationship with the ones that are going to, to put the rubber stamp that this is okay for operation and making sure that you have good discussions and making sure that you get the input and information exchange in a very transparent way since that will help your own journey of making your systems uh, uh, come into operation. So from that you start with uh, the sort of straightforward process of a technical implementation which is the second step and that's really where you put all the technical systems in place in the airport uh, at the tower where, with cameras with all the, the sensors that you need making sure that you have connectivity into the center where you build up the screens and the working positions for your air traffic controllers that step is fairly straightforward you have everything is sort of predetermined when it should happen so it's a start and a finish. The third process uh, about changing the organization that's similar to the first one it's open-ended so to say uh, when you go into it you don't really know what type of hurdles that you will meet during that journey but all depends on how ready are your operators and your workforce to, to go into this change how have you prepared yourself with information? Is it something that will be requiring a lot of changes for people on a personal level? Then of course you have some hurdles that is not related to the technology that you're going to implement, but it's related to the people that are going to change their daily work, their daily lives, perhaps if moving from one area to another. So a lot of change management involved in that process, but finally they all come together at an end where you have a technical system implemented, ready to go, you have a rubber stamp from the authorities, you're ready to go and you have your own organization that is ready and comfortable with using this new set of tools to perform their daily work. Of course, change is complicated in our personal life as well as in our professional life and on this level it's a massive change from a, 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 an infrastructure and set of systems that have been used in a similar fashion since the Second World War. How do we, we handle change in our daily lives? We, we try to get experiences, look what other people have been doing and, and trying based on that get ourselves informed and with that we can actually take ourselves through a change process with the least possible impact in sort of pain if you wish. And as we have been through a number of transformations from traditional towers to digital towers, we of course have that experience with us and help our customers to overcome the hurdles to, to get into operation in this digital new environment.